Matthew. You're on. Howdy. Um, so this is going to be your camper. I'm Matthew. You got your manual jack up here. So this is what's going to raise and lower it off your truck and bring it up. Yep. You got your lock right there. Your electrical breakaway cable for your brakes. Your propane tank is going to be a four gallon tank. Mm -hmm. um, you got your regulator right here. That's just going to lower the pressure down. Okay. Your 24 cell deep cycle battery. Um, it's going to run your 12 volts. Battery disconnect right there. Your battery disconnect is very useful for if you're putting your camper in the storage. Most will mandate that so you don't uh, cause any fires. Yeah. Your cord's going to be right there. This is going to be your 30 amp cord. You got a uh, tool in there for your jacks right yep, here. Just to lower them up and down. Yep, that's a three quarter inch socket. So even if you have an impact, you can set. You got your fresh water connection. So this is going to be probably a 24 gallon tank. Okay. Um, you got a hot water, cold, cold water shower. Yep. Okay. Shower right here. Um, right here is going to be your fresh water drain. That's for that tank. It's going to be this little thread right here. Right there, buddy. And your low point drains, that's if you're going to be winterizing the camper, they're going to be right here. You got a hot and a cold one, and that's going to be the lowest point on all the plumbing. So just pull those, and that'll let, empty out all the water. Make sure before you ever use your hot water heater, you pull this valve right there and make sure that there is water in there. If for some reason the electric ignition isn't functioning right, press these two buttons to reset it. Yep. There's going to be your anode rod. Yep. That's going to be what um, is basically the heating element yep. in there. You replace it every two to two to six, no, three to six months. Okay. You got your city water connections. That's going to be for using your toilet, your sink, and your shower. Okay. Black tank flush. That's going to be in cooperation with this valve under here. You'll pull this. And make sure it's gonna, open. Make sure, yep. Make sure you pull the um, black tank valve, which is going to be this black handle. Um, and then you got your gray tank handle. So okay. black first, gray tank second, and that kind of flushes it out. And you can flush that out while you're dumping the black tank to get it Easy in enough. Moving on back. All right. You got your cable inlet. So Satellite cable connection right there. Yep, right there. Full size spare on the back. You do have a hookup for a backup camera on the back. Your of course, hollow, so you get, put, your put sewer hose there. in there. Um, 12 volt on, so it'll go off the battery. TV, or not TV, but out, outdoor outlets. Mm -hmm. Moving up here, you have a furnace outlet. So that's going to be hot during the winter and not during the summer. Yep. Unless, of course, you're some God's sake, God forsaken reason using the outdoor griddle right here. All you do is you take this um, propane line. Yep. Run it to the um, griddle right here. Just like an air hose. Plug in. This right there. Right there. Real simple. And that's really it going to be on the outside of the camper. Right here, this is a solar connector. So if you want to run an outdoor solar panel um, that sits but, on like a little stand, you can plug it in right there. But you got a big one up top. So. Yeah.